Hey folks, 828 Find Adventure here. Let's do a little throwback fishing videos. Let's check it out. Okay, I'm here fishing on the Swannanoa River in Biltmore Village in Asheville, North Carolina. This river's full of all kinds of fish. I've seen carp, smallmouth, largemouth, catfish, brim, or bluegill, or whatever you want to call them. This video was taken in the winter. It was a sunny day. Um, it was just before a really big cold front came through. And I'm casting a small orange rattle trap. This time the water was cloudy and it was a couple of days after a very hard rain. The water was up probably about a foot and it was really cloudy. So using this bright orange rattle trap did the trick. Here's another largemouth I caught in the same location on the Swannanoa River using a tube worm in the pumpkin seed color. The tube worm's about three and a half inches to four inches long, and sometimes I use it weightless, and sometimes I use a little jig head with it. But it seems to work great in Western North Carolina. I can toss that thing in rivers and ponds and always catch a fish. Here I'm fishing my go-to tube worm in pumpkin seed color. Like I said, this tube worm works everywhere. Rivers, ponds, lakes, I always catch fish on it. It's amazing. Now, that is, that color works in this area. It might take a different color, chartreuse or whatever, in, uh, depending on where else I'm fishing. Always keep that in mind and have a variety of colors handy. This again is the Swannanoa River in Biltmore Village. This river spans for several miles until it runs into the French Broad River and is full of all kinds of species of fish. You can wade in it if you had some good waders. Um, I do recommend you really be careful because this river was originally full of old cars and junk and there's still a lot of debris and sharp metal and glass in the river. Here is the pumpkin seed tube worm that I use. I use a hook that measures about two inches long with about an eighth ounce weight on it, or even sometimes I fish it weightless and just let it float with the river. When fishing ponds and deeper water with a weighted tube worm, I let it sink slowly to the bottom and then I twitch it a few times. And I'll kind of just let it swim naturally just by twitching it a little and reeling it slow. When I fish it weightless, I cast it out there and it kind of floats at first. You give it a few little twitches and it'll, it'll kind of sink a little and then you can twitch it and make it swim through the water. This action has worked really well at catching largemouth bass. In rivers, I tend to fish it weightless so it'll swim naturally with the current. When I've used the jig head in the rivers, it tends to snag rocks more often.
folks. I didn't fish here at this body of water. It's a little warm, but uh, if you enjoyed that throwback video of me fishing on the Swannanoa River in Asheville, North Carolina, I was in Biltmore Village. There's some great fishing along the river there. And I just used a tube worm, works great. So anyways, look forward to some more fishing videos this summer and some truck videos and some camping stuff. So anyways, I will see you later. Please subscribe, please hit the like button. See ya.